Hey everybody, welcome to the Pathfinder 2E starter series. Uh, recently, Pathfinder has seen a huge surge in popularity uh, thanks to Wizards of the Coast. Uh, Pathfinder is one of my favorite RPGs ever, so I thought I'd go through and teach you guys how to play using the same format that I have used previously on this channel. As we go through this course, uh, the starter series is going to cover the core rulebook. So you don't have to follow the courses in order, but if you are completely new to second edition, I would suggest going in order, watching the videos, uh, and continuing to learn if you need further help. The core rulebook is big, and it can be a lot to digest. In this series, I'm not going to cover any homebrew, any of the Pathfinder 2nd Edition lore, or the adventure paths, uh, because you don't really need to go through those as a beginner. I am solely going to teach you how to play the game. Another thing to note is that I am using a hard copy of the rulebook. So if any changes were made to the PDFs, I will cover that probably in a video further down the line. Uh, so the information I am using is strictly from a printed copy because it is easier to teach that way. So what do you need? You're going to need the Pathfinder 2nd Edition Core Rulebook. I'm not showing screenshots of the rulebook in this series. You can find all of the rules for free, completely legally, uh, and you can do that by clicking on the link in the description below. You're going to need some character sheets, and I will also link to those in the description below. And I would suggest having some scrap paper just for notes, and unfortunately I can't link you to scrap paper, but I'm assuming you maybe have a notebook or a tablet or something. The starter course is going to cover the core rulebook only. Supplements will not be included in this course because I want to make things as simple as possible. However, I will be covering character creation at the end of this course. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them in the next video. And if you like this series, please drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to attempt to get four videos out a week until the starter course is finished. So if you've never played a tabletop role-playing game before, uh, it involves a group of people gathering around a table or a computer. However you want to play this game is completely fine. Role-playing games are an interactive story, so one person will take the role of the Game Master. You'll see that the Game Master is commonly referred to as the GM, and the GM sets up the scenes and challenges, while the players, commonly referred to as PCs, interact with the scene and attempt to overcome the challenges. So, Pathfinder can be played with up to 1-5 to five players, technically you could do like 1-10, to 10, 1 to 15 if you're feeling a little crazy if you are completely new to this game the sweet spot i like to use is one to four if you only have one other person who wants to play you can run a one-on-one -on -one pathfinder game there's a little tweaking to make it more smooth but it can be done now if you're watching these videos and you plan on playing the game master you'll be doing a lot of the prepping the presenting and You'll also be acting as the game's referee. You're going to be playing the non-player characters or NPCs. These characters are not controlled by the players whatsoever. Some game masters might want to craft a world to have their players play in, and others will want to use the established Pathfinder lore. Whatever you want to do is completely fine. I recommend running an adventure at least once if you've never run a game before. The adventures are pretty good and they're well written. If you're playing as a player, you'll be interacting with the world and the characters. 
and contributing to the story. It is important to remember that this is a team game, so everyone should be having fun and have a chance to contribute. Well, Pathfinder, with Pathfinder, I find it's best to remember that the game is not GM versus PCs. You are not trying to fight your game master. Your game master is probably not trying to fight you. You are all working together to tell a story, and because of that, you want things to be fun. With that in mind, remember that the rulebook is basically a guide. It's just guides. You can see this at the very beginning of the book. It even tells you to use what you want, how you want to use it. So, what is a one-shot and what is a campaign? A one-shot is typically one through three sessions long. You can run a one-shot in one session and tell a complete story. And one-shot games are good for trying out new players, running something quick, or testing character builds. I like one-shots because you can drop a player in at level 10 and watch them destroy everything. Or you can experiment with a class that you've never played before and go on a short adventure for three sessions. One-shots and campaigns are both made up of what is called a session. And a session is any time you and your players get together to play the game. Now, campaigns are longer, and they're strung together by multiple sessions. Campaigns can take characters from levels 1 to 10, or 1 to 15, or even 1 to 20. You can even go 1 to 5, whatever your group is most comfortable with. Just remember that campaigns tend to take a little bit more work, and they involve more prep, depending on how you want to set your game up. And also make sure to let your players know that you plan on running a dozen sessions, 30 sessions, or however. If you are playing the Game Master, from my personal experience, I recommend planning something shorter. Every time I personally plan something that is longer, we either never get to it, or the group gets interested in something else. For that reason, I recommend making a campaign chart. And this is something that I will cover when we do more of the Game Master stuff, in the general sense. So, you want to play a player, what are you responsible for? Before we dive into this, let me just say that everybody at the table is a player. Technically, but for the purposes of this course and every other course, we talk about the Game Master like the Game Master is a separate player completely. And I do this because it's just easier to separate the roles and provides better understanding to how the game is played. So, as a player, you're responsible for your character, their sheet, and making sure they work with the party. You also need to work with your Game Master to make sure your character works with the game premise. Pay close attention to the Game Master's instructions because they are able to ban whatever they want at their table. And although I don't recommend doing this, sometimes they might ban something that makes no sense. I don't know, maybe barbarians are not in play. Maybe you can only play clerics. You have to pay attention to these things because it's very possible you're not going to have fun at this table. Now, if you're playing a Game Master, as a sidebar, you have to tell people when you're banning something. Do not ban something as they're creating characters and be like, I don't like this, please do not use this. It's rude. It also can derail the character creation process. And frankly, you should know what you want to ban as, as you make your campaign. Now, if you're a new Game Master, it might be more challenging to decide what you do and don't want to ban. And for that reason, I recommend using only the core rulebook when you're game mastering for the first time. Now, as a player, you will be describing your actions as the game goes on. Uh, you will have to consider what your character would do and be careful with this method of thinking because and I quote, it's what my character would do is never an excuse to ruin the game for others. 
As a player, you should also be familiar with your class, your ancestry, and the general game rules. I will tell you the same thing, I will tell the game masters, you do not need to know all the books cover for cover, but you should read and have a general idea of what you're doing and what your spells do or what your class can do, because it will make the game flow that much easier. If you are a table of completely new players, don't be ashamed to pull out the book, flip through some pages, and just double check what you're doing. That goes for it even if you're not a new player or a new game master. It doesn't hurt to double check, and no one should be judging you for having to crack open the rules. Now, as the game master, you're going to have to learn more rules than the players off the cuff. Again, you do not have to rep memorize the entire book cover for cover, but you need to have a handle on the basic rules of the game. For this reason, I again recommend sticking to the core rulebook before you dive into things like the Advanced Player's Guide or the Game Mastery Guide. Just stick to the core rulebook. If you find that you really like Pathfinder and you really want to learn more about being a Game Master, crack open the Game Mastery Guide, which is a phenomenal book, and continue reading from there. But do not worry about the Game Mastery Guide until you have sunk your teeth into the core rulebook. As the Game Master, you will be crafting a narrative, NPCs, encounters. If you want, you can build a world. Uh, whatever you think might be fun, shoot for it. There's no harm in trying something out. If you want to experiment with something, let your players know. Come up with a campaign premise. Uh, if you're looking for players online, make sure you have your campaign premise clearly laid out for them. I would recommend not letting people come to your table, period, with pre-made characters. It is always better when the characters are made as a group. If you are a new game master and you have decided you don't want to craft a world from the ground up, that is no problem. Uh, Pathfinder has rich lore and a ton of adventure paths for you to use. So, playing the game. So, what do you need to play? A character sheet, some dice, and the core rulebook. That's, that's everything. Technically, a piece of paper will do you some good, but if you have a phone and a note app, you can use that too. For the rest of this course, I'm going to be taking you through the core rulebook. We'll have some smaller videos covering some of the terms of the game. I will show you some character creation. Maybe we'll make a couple characters. Maybe we'll only make one. Uh, and we will just go through and I will teach you Pathfinder. Uh, thank you for watching this introduction video. I hope you guys have a good night, day, evening, whatever time it is for you. I will see you in the next one.